Hello everyone and welcome back after the wild ride that was the last episode. Well, my battleships are still in the harbor of these new islands that we conquered. Um, and they're going to repair here, which is going to take some time. Bent, meanwhile, she's still, it seems, in shock. Her ships are just standing around idle um, all the time, basically. There's only one clipper now that is going between those two islands there. Yes, and well, it is a new world. It is a new peaceful world, for now at least. Princess Ching might be using this, but she is far away there with the military score. And Bente still is stronger than Princess Ching, which is insane to me because Princess Ching has huge islands, right? Two of them, while Bente basically has only two small islands left but plastered with, well, heavy cannons, a lot of them, to be honest. Now, we are no longer caring about Bente. We might actually put up some trade with her at some point. She can be where she is and hopefully live a quiet and peaceful life. I have to turn my attention quickly to Crown Falls because, of course, every time we are at war, we are losing context. We're losing focus on the economy and there's always things that we need to do. So I would really like to push my Skyland Tower now. For that, we do need 10 more level 5 skyscrapers, which is, well, quite a lot, actually, because level 5 ones are hard to come by. We do need all the other tiers first. I am working right now on this block here that I will upgrade to the next level. Now, as we can see, we could already do that. And I think, why not? Why not the heck do it? Um, I'm going ahead with those guys here. Boom. That's all the elevators really that we had up to this point. And I can go ahead here with a couple more of them on the way. Actually, this one has a strong panorama effect than this one too. Because they actually go over the street there. Which is a nice bonus, I should say. Right, so we got a few more level 2 now, right? And we can then go ahead and pick them up to level 3, 4, and ultimately level 5. Now, as we're coming closer to the uh, 200,000 mark there as well, and I'm waiting for my skyscrapers to catch up on, well, people moving in, right? Because this is always taking a bit of time. What we should be doing is having a quick look at my consumptions or my consumer products. Because, well, with so many new people coming in, I bet there is definitely a shortage somewhere around the corner uh coffee is going down as we can see chocolate is heavily going down so chocolate might be my primary goal right away and i can also see a slight decrease in cognac that i should be working on um let's just check the cognac there real quick because cognac we have the production on the island ourselves right so we have one multi-factory for that which is over here happily working along right now with the cherry wood the grapes we have lots of that lots of that and sugar lots of that in store so for that let's just check it i think it was at minus one for the cognac and yep we should be doubling our production this one already gets boosted we could go with 50 percent increase with the artisans but the easier way is actually just building a second artisan workshop that gets its boost it is also getting electricity right away it's getting the resources from over there and that should really be the end of it right of our cognac shortage the other problem is the chocolate and the chocolate we do have here in auspicious isle where we do have part of a chocolate production with the coffee the and we also have a chocolate production a real one though in vega and this is probably I where i would like service. to have a look here we are using an item to use coffee beans instead of sugar and as i can see sugar or coffee beans sorry is quite low it's at 12 only so we do need to boost our coffee plantations there just a tiny bit i do have a bit of timber left and i might just use this to get us a few more of them they only cost me five tons of timber each right so we can have a couple of them here piling up and then on the other side as well and this really should be doing the trick there nothing else that i would need here let's just build it 168 fills we need and this one to fill the gap perfect one and then at the other side as well even though i think we might still be needing a few more let's build two more for them and then we can just also fill it up all the way here and let's also leave a bit of room there for the beach which is going to be quite important here that beach there if we ever do need more pearls for example then i could get my pearl fertility over there and use this area now while the chocolate production is ramping up once more we have two beautiful islands now in the old world and i would really like to start colonizing them as well first of all we do need some proper names for these so this is voss 
And over here we have Babkin. So two of my supporters. Thank you for your support. Glad you enjoy the videos. Now here we have something that I really like. And that is the fur abundance. Because we do need quite a lot for that. And brass. Uh, we can have some brass production on these islands. Which can come in quite handy. And I think this is going to be a proper island. Even though this one here is just looking really cool there too. Right. So both of these can be beautiful islands. Or beautiful cities, I should say. Oh, we do have another bigger fire in Cape Storm. The gunsmith. I just take whatever I get, really. And we can push it then into research points or scrap. Now, I would like to um, develop some items here as well. We do have a beautiful catalog already of items that we can, uh, well, basically craft in the research institute. And one of them is a pretty cool one over here. The Pertwee's Turbo Generator affects all production buildings. Not really because the maintenance cost is increased, but because it provides electricity. And I was actually promising that for a very long time now for my brass factories. And we still don't have that. We still have other, um, well... Uh, items here that i can use then also on the brass of course but i would like to go ahead with that for now that's 5,000 more research points and it's added to the queue it's going to take us a while as we can see 48 minutes but it's going to be absolutely worth it the problem here is um for the brass it's going to be fine right so there we already have the trade unit here in the center that i can build and then i provide electricity basically boosting production of the brass by 100 percent the problem that I have right now is because I've got so many buildings and things unlocked, it is very, very hard to get to items that I need at Eli. Because there's so many items now, it's pretty hard to get to the right item that I need for the brass. I've tried this it a couple of times now. It doesn't seem to be really possible there with the brass. We do have some interesting other items there, but nothing that I would really need. So I need to craft them myself if I don't want to do expeditions all the time. So that's that. What I would also like to do, since I'm in the old world now, I can finally do some Hugo Mercia quests. So we already have one here now, Survival of the Kindest. And Hugo believes that humans are virtuous by nature when they're not forced to compete under the rules of cat capitalism. And Dr. Harvey Spruce, one of the heads of social Darwinism in the old world, backs to differ. And we need to get this guy here over to Hugo's island, more or less. So we're doing quests for Hugo and plus on top of that getting closer to a lion state and I think I actually could do a lion state now with him. Um, yep, yeah, let's actually go with the lions with Hugo there. He accepts without a problem even though we are pretty on par there when it comes to military force. So we definitely should not have another war there with him. Um, being with the lions with him, doing quests with him will open up then the gods and masters quest line that we could finish as well a very unique quest line for Hugo and his anarchist ideas. Now, my ships have arrived in Voss and are going now to Babkin there as well with all these materials that we need for, well, building up uh, some proper new cities or towns and production islands that we want for our crown falls. You can never have uh, too few of them in number. We definitely need... You can never have too many of them, I should say. And we definitely do need all of them. Especially there's three iron deposits here. I'm very happy about that. Mm, it might be a good schnapps production that we could afford in boss as well. Anyway, it has a nice panorama there, by the way. The whole island. There's also some fighting here in the background of my island. That's still the last ships of Bento that are fighting Pirate N right now. So they're still at war with each other, it seems. I'm definitely not intervening there anymore. Let's turn in the quest. We've done it. That was the healthiest, most edifying debate I had. I've had in a while. Dr. Spruce has been convinced of the pure-hearted nature of men and women after meeting the most enlightened members of our community. Let's get him back to Archie. Rather simple quest that we have to do there. Another thing that I would like to do, despite actually going for the trade union there soon, we can still push a few more brass smelters. I do need them and it's taking us quite some time uh, until we have really finished the item. So let's build four more that we have now. Um, they will consume, of course, the copper and the zinc and we are completely stuffed with that. We just need a bit more brass. Why do we need more brass? Because with all of the new skyscrapers, my elevator consumption is pretty high and elevators do require... Well, steam motors, wood veneers, and steel. While we do have a number of these, a certain amount of numbers of steam motors, we don't. We do need more production here. It is at zero right now, and they consume brass. Brass, by the way, 
is at zero as well. This is very harsh, really. So we are really not producing enough there, it seems. Nope. Nevertheless, I'm going to head and I'm going ahead here building another one. Right? Because with the increased brass consumption, I think we can feed this motor assembly line. Let's also upgrade this warehouse there. Also together with another paved road that we might want to have there. And by the way, we have so much influence. Let's go ahead with a cargo ship. And we have researched it, the Great Eastern. We can now also build it if we want to. And of course, we're doing that here. Now, in Tristau, there's still another, well, nice surprise for me because I thought we would be using all the oil wells already that are on this island, but I'm very much mistaken. If I follow the tracks up here into this region, we find a whole new area of beautiful oil wells or oil springs that we can use. And I think we already have all the materials that we need for that. And oil is something that we do need for a further expansion in Crown Falls. So let's go ahead and just try to squeeze in as many of these oil springs here as possible. I think this one here is a nice spot for it. We can really go probably with all of them to be honest. Um, right away. Um, one is missing. It's that one. But come on, it's fine. 14 steel beams left only though means that I will not be able to finish these tracks there that we need to get to the lower side there. And even then having only one track system here for two train lines, it's going to be tricky. As we can see, the oil harbor is fine. It's not stuffed with all the oil, so the storage is not full. Yet I need to, well, increase my tankers with that. So let's go ahead. After, actually we finished the cargo ship, so I can go ahead now and get us another oil tanker right away. There you go. And then I just need some steel beams. And I think we should be having steel beams. Yeah, well, in Auspicious Isle, we have plenty of them. So let's go ahead and take one of my ships. There's also a nice item waiting for us. Affects the oil wells productivity 20%. Let's take that with us, with, it, with us and the steel beams that we still need. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's get back home to Tristau with that. While the ship is on its way, let's just see where we can use the oil then. So I would like to use it in this district up there where we only have artisans for now. We have 11,000 artisans, way too much really. And what I can also see is that my oil storage is not the best, right? So we have there, more or less, it's increasing by plus one. Not a very good um, foundation to build more a more oil power plants but here i would like to have one we probably will be able to get rid of the church then here and what i could do right away is because we have the materials i could probably go ahead then and upgrade as many as i like the only thing that we do need in this area still is a university um and for that well once again we could get rid of the church there if for a university but i do like to have landmarks in my city so let's get a uh, go get rid of this artisan block there and instead, let's just squeeze in a university there. We do, by the way, have also the library building that we haven't built yet. I think this might be a good moment of actually building it. Yes, I think we could have a library here. Why not? Wait a second. Because the, you know, the library has such a huge range, we could also have it in this corner. It's a bit more central to the whole busy city, right? And still, it also has a connection to the uh, uh, main avenue. And as we can see, the range is just insane, really. It probably takes the whole city, the whole island, as it seems to me. Let's go ahead and build this one here. It's a beautiful new building. It's a modded building, by the way, that we are building here. And it's just fitting in perfectly nicely into this whole corner there there you go universe uh, well library in all its glory we still have a bit of a room behind it so what i could do here is because there is right it looks like there is a street attached to it we just basically go ahead and build a, a street here around it because i think this just fits the best the library itself already has some guards and trees so there really is no need to push more of them here then i could go ahead and have another street here up here and then we probably connect and then we have a beautiful area where we could for example have either a canal or some trees actually once again let's get ahead with my flower beds there but not so many all at once we're going to separate them a bit here so all every three of them we're probably going to make a gap somewhere here where we could use for example a bench or something like that or these beautiful trees and since we are already using the same color of trees over there i think it makes sense to use the same color there as well to make this one look much much nicer and i think we will still need to do the flower beds once more 
because the clipping doesn't seem to be working so nicely. There you go. That's much better now. Here's behind it, a nice little avenue where people can also sit and enjoy a day. And then we have the library. Now the library is or should be providing perfect university to everyone. Look at that. Even the furthest people outside have a university coverage now. This one doesn't have the fullest coverage anymore. But it's fine, it's fine. And with that, we should be able... Oh, yes. Upgrading the whole bunch of them here. And I just really quickly got to admire the beauty of this. Bear in mind, it is a modded building. Great job at doing this. Really, really great job. Lots of details, high quality textures. That's how a modded building should look like. And a fat doctor going out in front going for lunchtime. Now let's go ahead and upgrade us the next artisans. Boy, we have so many of them. We could probably start over there, these guys here. And then the whole bunch of these inner buildings there as well. There you go. And then on the other side as well. Uh, especially along the main road here. We don't really need that university there anymore, I think. Hmm, I could still... Or I just keep it because I do like my landmarks, right? There you go. Holy cow, we can really upgrade a lot of them. And this is not the end of it. We are still going to make this one... Hmm, we could have it all only bricks if we want to. It looks a bit dark, doesn't it? But it does fit more to the industrial theme that we have over there. I think we could go ahead there with a few more of them. Yeah, I think it actually fits nicely and these guys here are more colorful again there you go so that we have a beautiful mixed area of the city here and those guys here let's just have them brick roads or brick buildings as well as it moves then a bit more into the industrial zone and these should still be also remodeled there of course so that does fit a bit better. Holy cow, I really like the investor buildings, but not the neon lights, really. It's not my favorite one. Let's make the let's make it the colorful ones. There you go. Alright, meanwhile, the steel beams I have arrived. Oh, and Sir zone. Charles Rafferty, Metropolitan Commissioner for the police station's neighborhood watch plus one. And well, beating down people is increased the speed by 70%. I like that. Because what if we can quickly here, beat down people, we can even more quickly beat down even more people. If that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and finish our tracks that we have over there. Here we are going to make the not so beautiful looking curved tracks then. Along the cliff. Holy cow, this is really close to the abyss. And we should be having enough steel beams for that. Of course we have. Just here along the mountains, there is the contact. This one is now producing oil and it is then being or transporting it over to my oil harbor. Now there will be the question of the track usage and I hope it's going to work out. And this one here is also getting boosted now. Oh, wait a second. How many do we have? We do have seven attached to this one, five attached to this one and five to this one. Let's use it with the seven oil wells. So this one here. There I will need now a town hall. Oh, actually a trade union. There you go. 20 influence. We can easily afford it by now. Right, oh. And this one is using two items now here. The first one is the oil. Uh, it's not the oil power plant. It is the oil wells refiner 20% increased. And bear in mind, those 20% are affecting all the seven oil wells that we have in on, on, this, on this one here. I could also go ahead with another 50%. We've done this already. It is still full. I think the harbor is meant by that. Yes. The oil harbor is completely full. Is out of control. So I could go ahead and get us some oil storages out here. And each one of them is increasing it by 200 tons. So that's something. Now the train A should be on its way. Is under sea. There you go. And a full bunch of oil is now getting out there. And this one is pushing up its production too. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Look at that. 800% we are, 900%, perhaps we can actually breach the 1000%. Uh, yes, we can. So this oil refinery is really pushing oil hard. And with that, we produce more and more of these on these beautiful locomotives that are transporting it. I hope 
the locomotive driver is not prone to sicknesses or, yeah, stomach sicknesses. Now, with that, uh, oh, Princess Ching, I'm going to pay you, of course. And let's just have a look at my oil trade route now. I have one here with four oil tankers already. And I'm going to add now my latest one, Minerva, to the fray here. This one, so five oil tankers are on this trade route now. Four were already quite enough, but as we can see, not really, because we still have too much oil there. And that makes it possible now to have an oil refinery out here in my latest engineer district where we can then push them for well investors if we want to and speaking about investors i think yes my skyscrapers here have fully grown the level three ones so i can now go ahead and just select my level three ones and just upgrade all of them or well at least as many as i can to level four there you go a whole bunch of level four ones now i think around 15 that was and now we just wait for them to catch up and then we can upgrade them to level 5 and then I should have enough for my skyline tower. Stay tuned.